Hi everyone, this is Patricia and I am so excited to be here as Alt News guest for February. I am going to create a traveler's notebook insert. So I have my cardstock trimmed down two panels, trimmed down to make a spread. And I am going to use one of their stencils and their inks to create a little bit of a background on this left side. And then as I move that around, I'll just continue that down the whole left side of that page. And then I want to have a little bit of that same texture on the right side. But I need to bring in the picture to see how much I want to, to add there. I don't want it to go the full length of the page like the other side. Now I want to bring in another piece of cardstock and stamp this beautiful flower from the charm stamp set. I am going to ink this up and stamp it a couple of times and show you some fun ways to use their alcohol markers. Now the alcohol markers that I selected, here are the two sets. Those will be listed on the blog. Um, it's their soft colors. So that kind of depicted the photo and that's the reason why I picked the photo. It just complemented the colors overall. Now I want to do something a little different. I had this in mind and I did not know how it would come out. And it actually came out pretty cool with a very, very light hand and the brush tip of the marker. I am just going across the flower. Now, you know, the alcohol markers that they have are great for blending and great for coloring and getting that detailed look of the shadows and everything. But I wanted to go with that free look of this stamp. I really like the free form of it. And it has a little bit of a lacy, artistic look to it. So I want to continue that with these strokes. So I'm making sure that my strokes, as I'm going back and forth, are very, very light. And you can see I go horizontal and I go vertical. I want to be able to see those marks. And then I have another idea to use the stencil with the markers. And this will create nice little brush strokes within the flower. That now, this is a very imperfect look um, as opposed to coloring with the alcohol markers that you would normally see. But I wanted to just show this. I just think it's a fun way. These markers can do so much more than just your basic coloring of your stamp images. You can really get creative with them. So I'm doing basically the same thing. I'm going with one color horizontally and then another color vertically and I'm moving that stencil around to make sure that I get into the flower area and as I do that I'll just keep moving it around and just fill it up it doesn't have to be perfect but I love that look I think it's such a cool unique look with these markers okay now a tip here I'm getting ready to go to the green markers that's another set that I bought and um, I need to wipe that stencil clean and alcohol, just pure regular old alcohol really helps to get that clean. If not, since alcohol markers are so great at blending, it will blend with that pink. So I don't want the, the green to blend with the pink. So I want to start fresh. So just clean your stencil off if you do try this technique. Now I just want to fill the center with some yellow and I am going to do a little bit of blending. I'm using the nib side of the markers and I'm going to add some of the chocolate brown there and then I'm going to blend again with the yellow. Now these two flowers that I colored were my favorite. I did, I did a few of them. I did do another style and I'm gonna show you that in just a minute. Here's the other style. I basically colored it first in a lighter color and then went over it with the stencil with the markers. Gave a different look and I added a little bit, little bit of the brown to it. But the other two were my favorites and I did more of those to use on this spread. Now, using my photo, using my flowers, the color of the alcohol markers and everything that I have so far is what I based the photo on. So I'm going to also base that on the pattern papers that I choose here. The Reflections collection is just gorgeous. Very, very inspired by this. So I pulled a few of them out to create some more texture, that complement and that contrast. I want to keep this layout light. So I'm going to use my trimmer and trim and, and not precise measurements. I'm just going to randomly trim these papers up and then I'm going to begin on the left. Now 
what I have in mind is I want to I have the vertical going down with the stencil and the ink. I want to create a horizontal um, look almost with the almost like more paint strokes. I love pattern paper really is if you think about it, it's kind of like you're just stroking with paint. It just adds color, it adds texture. And that's what I'm trying to do here. So I'm just fiddling with that a little bit. And to easily get that all to stay in place, I'm carefully lifting that up and I'm just going to run a single stitch on my sewing machine down that. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the right side, but I'm going to do vertical. And I realized I needed, if I'm going to add something with that photo, I needed a little bit more of that stenciled background to show. So I added a little bit more of that there. Now I'm just going to freehand cut some of these strips into place. Because like I said, I just think it adds so much texture and color. So what I did there is I just stitched a single running stitch vertically down it to hold all of those pieces together. Now I'm going to adhere this in place. And I kind of like that it's moving like that a lot. Because I, I like how it's not evenly, you know, those strips are not evenly going across. So I'm going to go with that. I adhere that in place and I go ahead and trim off the extra. Now another thing that I like about this is I want to create, this is going to be a very, um, you know, a loose, clean, but a modern type traveler's notebook spread. And I like that those horizontal lines are pointing towards the photo. And what I'm thinking is now I'm going to start just playing with the flowers that I have stamped and fussy cut it out. And I'm not... I'm not set on anything yet. I'm just placing them and I'm more than likely going to use the two styles of the coloring that I did. The one that I used the stencil and the one that I just lightly colored. But I don't know, know yet. I'm just going to leave that there and I want to continue using this charm stamp set. I really used, I think I used just about every single stamp on this, on this um, set. It's just a really great usable set, especially for scrapbooking. And what I'm going to do here is I'm using the sentiments from the set to stamp in between the patterns and the blank areas of the patterns on the stencil. And it just creates a nice, cool, interesting, you know, very, very um, artsy kind of look to it. And it's a unique way to use the stamps. It really goes perfectly with this photo. This photo is us at the beach looking out over the water. So I really like um, I like that here. It just really fits the whole, the whole theme well. Now I want to add some more stamping. I'm going to add this arrow. I think also that just has a little free-spirited look to it. I just love the whole look of this set. I'm going to trim these little extra pieces. I am going to layer that other flower on top, but just in case any of them show. So I trim that down, and I want to add a little bit more of a bolder grounding here of, um, of this cluster. So I add another strip of that, that green and white pattern paper. And then I'm going to decide on adhering, foam adhering this flower that I have here. So that will complete that part. And now I'm going to move on to the right side. I, I like the way everything is placed, so I'm going to go ahead and start adhering that down. Now before I adhere this down, just like on the other side, I want to see if there's any stamping that I want to add. And the one thing that I definitely want to add is a sentiment. I really love this sentiment from this stamp set, and it goes perfectly with documenting this this photo. So I'm going to stamp that. I decided to stamp it below. And then once I stamp that, I start adding a few more of the stamps. I start adding these, um, this little heart in, in this pretty orange kind of color. I think it's sun kiss. It's so pretty. Anyway, I go ahead and add that also on the left side because I really like that and it brings in a little bit more of that color. And um, so I'm going to add this and lift up and see how it looks. I just want to kind of have it peeking underneath. And as I do that, um, I move the flower because I didn't want um, I didn't want the stamp that I did to be covered too much. So I'm just kind of move that flower a little bit. And now I'm going to see if I want to add anything else. And I decide on another heart, the outline image of the heart. 
I wasn't sure if I wanted to stamp over that heart, the solid heart, and I didn't. I ended up using a light gray here, and I just randomly added that here and there to both sides of the spread. And again, I just moved things out of the way just, just so that I could have enough of the stamp image to show underneath some of the layering. So as I get everything stamped and how I want it, that will finish that up. And I'm going to go ahead and commit to adhering on this right side. Now, I'm okay with the flower hanging off the edge. I'm going to show you in just a minute. I'm doing a traveler's notebook. That's um, and Normally, I would adhere this inside of a pre-made traveler's notebook. But I am creating the base of my traveler's notebook. So I'm okay with it hanging off the edge. It's not going into a pocket page. Here is what I'm doing. I'm using the Happy Planner rings and I'm punching along the edge and I'll just pop those in place. So I really love the look. I'm creating a little mini scrapbook is basically what I'm doing. So to create more texture here, I'm going to add some of the enamel dots. And that's going to finish this up. I really love how the spread came out, the flowers and everything. I just really hope this inspires you to maybe use those alcohol markers in a different way and not be intimidated by them and put them to good use. Thank you so much for watching.